Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the performance of the Tech Toa, which is one of the units you can get with your Dokan gift card, but also a unit that you can get from summons. So Toa has a attack and defense of 15% per key sphere obtained and recovers a thousand HP per key sphere of the character's type compared. Uh, obtained she causes supreme damage to the enemy while greatly lowering defense and also seals their attack she gives all allies key of three and will give all allies attack and defense of five percent per extreme class ally on the team she has attack and defense of a hundred percent when all allies attacking in the same turn are extreme class she has demonic power battlefield diva solid support Scientist, Fear and Faith, Xenoverse, and Fierce Battle as her link set. And she's on the Pepe Gals, Time Travelers, Siblings, Bonds, Battle of Wits, and Crossover Teams. Personally speaking, I think she could get... Um, I could think she could get a easy A at some point uh, very soon with all the crossover stuff still yet to come for this year. So I think she could definitely be a very exciting unit to use. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see just how good she is. She did only release last year, Feb, uh, on Global. So it'll be interesting to see how well she's done. We're going to be trying her out on the Pepe Gals team. Because we have two super class units on the team being our leads, that is going to slightly affect her stats. Meaning she will be 10% lower um, in terms of her support capabilities. But the rest will be fine. Uh, generally speaking, she's got some really, really nice pairing partners. Uh, they don't share five or six links with her. The most links she can share with her unit is four. But she does have some really nice pairing partners in the form of the AGL Toa and in the form of the Int Toa. Both of whom could also, well, AGL Toa already has it easier, but Int. Toa, Demon Goddess Toa could also receive her EZA as well. So yeah, basically I think uh, you know he she is pretty good. Um, personally speaking, I think she's a solid option. Obviously, you know if you're looking at her raw stats, she's not going to topple over any event. She will be pretty usable in some SBR and ESBR uh, because of her ceiling, her debuffing and her support that she provides to everyone she will be pretty solid in terms of like tech esbr uh, extreme class esbr uh, in terms of time travelers you could probably use her uh, siblings bond anything she's on you should be able to use her for as you can see here we've got four links 130k defense which is okay uh, and yeah not too bad. She is getting quite a lot of support on this rotation. One nice thing is that, you know, her Toa and Toa, all three mighty Toas, give each other a lot of support in this situation. Uh, the main link that she's missing out on is Xenoverse, which is a great link, uh, especially at max link level. It does give 20% attack and 10% defense. But beyond that, there's not too much she's missing out on this rotation. You know, links like Scientist uh, are okay, but she's only really going to share that with Toa units, but that's okay since, you know, if the Int one gets an EZA and she gets an EZA, they could be a very powerful pairing. Scientist is a very good link. Um, a lot of her links do gain very nice kit sets from Link Leveling. Demonic Power gives 10% defense, Battlefield Diva gets 5% evasion, Scientist gives 20% defense. Fear and Faith, not too much, but Xenoverse another 10%. So by link leveling her and activating all the links, you could be looking at an additional 40% defense, which is quite substantial. You know, without getting too deep into it, it is a significant amount uh, of defense. With that being said, uh, for me, I do think, you know, she can be utilized in some stages. I wouldn't say you're going to be able to pop her off in red zone or anything like that, but I personally am you know, still impressed with how well she does. And you got to also look at the synergy she brings to the rest of the lineup, uh, especially on extreme-based teams. I actually think the thing holding her back more than anything 
is the lack of a proper extreme crossover lead. A proper extreme crossover lead, you know, with like a 170% lead minimum, would really, really help with her functionality. Right now, you either need to run her on a full extreme time traveler's team, uh, or you need to have Fu. Uh, and Fu is quite a difficult unit to actually have. He came out a couple years ago for the uh, Heroes events, and yeah, he just really isn't that you know, good a lead anymore. Not to mention he's ADD Heroes category lead, so that is also a little bit of a hindrance uh, to basically just how the whole functionality of the team works. Fu could also get an Extreme Z Awakening at some point, which would be pretty good. And I think that would really suit uh, the team as well. But again, he only leads Dragon Ball Heroes. So the number of crossover leads that are extreme is not very high. Uh, you've got a couple 130% sub leads, but it's really just not enough to really kind of cater to the vast amounts of really strong extreme crossover units. I mean, with Jinembu, Towers, uh, Mecha Deborah, who I think is such an underrated unit. Um, you've got Baby Janemba, a lot of really, really solid units. Uh, you know, Boo Babidi, tons and tons of great, great, great units. So, could definitely be interesting. Uh, in terms of her links, as I mentioned before, she's a unit that has a very good link set, but it is very peculiar. Uh, if you're going to focus on anything, focus on Fear and Faith being her major key link that she shares across multiple categories. And that's really about it. Luckily she gives key, so you don't need to worry too much about that. And she gives support, so you don't need to worry too much about that. If you are going to use her for anything, uh, I would say use her for possibly just supporting. Uh, I think, yeah, rather just use her for supporting don't really worry too much about making her a main lineup unit. I think she's solid enough for an SBR or ESBR team as a floating support, especially if you do put some effort into her. I think you can get quite a bit out of her. Uh, better equipment and some link leveling and all of a sudden on the right team she could be rocking close to 150-ish thousand defense, which is definitely decent enough if you combine it with her ceiling. Uh, to kind of stop or be useful in SBR and ESBR. But of course, uh, you do you know, need to possibly use items. One nice thing will be when they easy air her, uh, what will they do with her support, super attack? I think that's pretty good. Um, greatly raising, lowering attack as well would be pretty good. And it would be nice if they add some evasion or maybe a heal to her passive. I think that will be something that could be good in future. If you're wondering if you should pick her up with gift cards, uh, she's more a speculative unit at this point in time. You're going to pick her up with gift cards if you think you are going to be able to obviously you know, use her in future, but you're gambling more in the easy air. So either pick her up because you like Toa, which is more than fine, or don't pick her up because you don't want to invest in speculation. Nice thing about it is Mira, her counterpart, is also someone that's pretty good uh, and I think also could get a really nice easy A. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, how she performs and I'm pretty happy with her overall. I think, uh, yeah, if you want to get her, you can, but it is more a bit speculative. This is how well she does now and I think she's okay for SBR and ESBR. And overall, I think she's still a pretty interesting and fun unit that can really bring some good synergy to the crossover extreme team when it gets a very good lead. That's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.